Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cory Yoder of Coriander Quilts and today I had planned to show you a bunch of quilt tops that I am sending off to my quilter to be quilted and I am still doing that but on my search for my quilt tops to send off I discovered some quilt tops I had completely forgotten that I had. I'm sure that never happens to any of you. You're all very organized and you know exactly what you've got stashed, exactly where you want it, but I am not that way. And so when I went up to my linen closet to grab one specific quilt top that I wanted to show you, um, I found several more that I had completely forgotten that I had stashed up there. And I thought, well, I will just go ahead and show you guys those and we will send those off to the quilter to get quilted. I am trying to do much better about working through some of these quilt tops that I have had waiting in the wings for so long. I have a great spot where I can donate them to. So it just makes sense to get these finished up and sent to somebody who can use them. And it was kind of fun for me to look back at some of these tops I had completely forgotten I had had. So in addition to those quilt tops, I have some incoming fabric I want to show to you. And then do you remember these Dresden blocks I asked for advice about a couple weeks ago? I'm going to talk about those a little bit too. So if that kind of information sounds interesting to you, stick around. <laughs> All right, so what should we start with? Let's start with, oh, before we start, I do wanna give a little bit of continue watching at your own risk because some of the quilt tops I'm going to show you do not have patterns and that can make people a little bit fussy sometimes. So if you're one of those people who gets a little bit sour if you see a quilt pattern that you really wish was in quilt pattern format, now might be your chance to click away. With that being said, some of these patterns that aren't in existence any longer or never were in existence, if enough of you are interested in having me write up a pattern or reintroduce introduce a pattern that is no longer in print, leave that in the comments below and that might be something that I can make happen. But I did wanna give you a little bit of a warning that I'm gonna show you things, some things that don't have quilt patterns, so just so you know. Let's start with incoming fabric, first of all, because incoming fabric is always fun. This is a little bundle that I purchased on Etsy from a quilt shop called Binded With Love. I will link to her shop in the description box below the video. In fact, that's where you're going to find all information that I share. If something has a pattern, I will list it below. If I need to mention a fabric line or something like that, I'll list it below. That's always where you can find that information, including quilt pattern information for my backdrop. I often get asked what quilts are hanging behind you in the description box below the video is where you're going to want to look. So this little bundle here is called Arcade Wovens and I purchased them. You might remember a few weeks ago I had shared about some Fabulism Wovens that I had just purchased in January. These are also Fabulism Wovens but they are in these pretty plaids. Kind of the same palette as those I shared with you recently but plaids and I think they're really pretty. I had thought that I might use these for another calliope quilt. It has been so much fun seeing all of your all of your calliope quilts showing up. That is a free pattern. I'll link to that video in case you might be new here and not familiar with that pattern but it's a free pattern. Oh you're gonna see it so I'm gonna be sending some of those quilt tops off so I'm gonna show you a couple calliope quilts. Some of you have already seen them. Some of you probably haven't. So I had thought that this might be a really nice bundle for, a, for making another one. And just this happy little plaid selection here. And then for the little framed portions, this fabric right here. Let me just pull one of them. So this is one quilt top I'm sending off. This is the bundle that Chloe picked. If you've seen it, you remember it. But this is a calliope quilt, super easy to make. A uh, fat quarter bundle. I don't even remember offhand how many fat quarters you need. A few fat quarters, no background fabric, and you're done. So, and it's a free pattern. So this quilt top is going off to my quilter. These fabrics I think would be beautiful for another one of these with this white fabric as the frame portion of the quilt. So what do you think? I think that'll be really a lot of fun. 
I've been on such a Wovens, I'm always on a Wovens kick if I'm being honest. I think they're a lot of fun to work with. If you have not worked with them before, they are a little bit fussier maybe than quilting cottons because they're not quite as sturdy. The weave on them is a little bit looser and I would never suggest doing a lot of intricate piecing with wovens, but for something like this quilt or something with not a lot of piecing, I do like using them. They make a very nice lightweight drapey quilt. I love them with flannel on the back or minky on the back. Minky is gonna be what I will use for these and they're just a lot of fun. Okay, so that is incoming fabric. You saw the one calliope here. I do also want to send out my other calliope. So these will be calliopes three and four. I have one and two completely done. Three and four need to make their way to the quilter. This is the other one. This is the one I jokingly called the Saved by the Bell Calliope because it just reminds me of such an 80s quilt. You'll remember it if you saw it. So this one's going off to the quilter also, but isn't it fun to see how different they look? And if you are a member of my Facebook group, I think we see several new calliopes every week and Ah, the palettes and fabrics and colors that people are choosing are so much fun and they all look so different. It's been really neat seeing them. So if you are one of the ones that have shared a Calliope quilt, I've enjoyed seeing it. It's been a lot of fun. All right, so those are two outgoing quilt tops. Let us go to, let's chat about those Dresdens. I said I did I say that at the beginning? I don't remember. The reason I went up to my linen closet to grab one specific quilt top was because the Dresdens I mentioned several weeks ago as a work in progress reminded me that I had another quilt top using similar fabrics. So that's what sent me to my linen closet and that's what led me to discovering these other quilt tops I had forgotten about. So let's chat about those Dresdens first because I had asked you for your opinions on sashing these Dresdens and let me make some space here. These are the Dresdens I'm talking about. They have now been trimmed, cut to size. The back has all been trimmed out. A lot of these because they were applique still needed portions of the Dresden cut out. So they have all been cut out and trimmed all to the same size. So they're ready to be sewn now. And now it was just a matter of deciding what sashing I wanted to use and cornerstones I wanted to use. I asked your opinion on this a few weeks ago and I got so much feedback. It was really interesting to read back over what you were saying. And I had been thinking of using for sashing um, this polka dot fabric from my coriander seeds line of fabric and then a yellow dot fabric, which I don't have right here, for my cornerstones. And most of you liked that idea. However, some of you were really having strong feelings about, about my white sashing, and I get that. I get why that could cause some strong feelings. And then there was just a lot of really good suggestions about some other routes that I could take. And I think kind of overall from reading through your comments, the suggestions that I was getting were either yes, go with your original plan, or were ideas that were taking it more towards a traditional Dresden feel with kind of the, the cooler pinks, cooler yellows, that um, minty green, like when you think back to, to 30s types fabrics, those feed sack sort of colors. I was getting a lot of suggestions to use colors in that palette. And I think what a lot of you were seeing was that you just wanted something a little bit more traditional for a Dresden. And I thought, well, that could be a really fun approach too. So now what I'm thinking is going with a solid sashing in a color. And you know, I love a good yellow. If you have purchased any of my fabric lines over the years, you know that yellow is often featured in my fabric lines and I love a warm yellow. So I pulled this yellow. This is a yellow that I use a lot. This is Motabella Solid in the color Goldenrod and I love this shade of yellow. It is definitely a warm, um, almost butterscotchy, orangey sort of yellow and I use this shade a lot. But it, it doesn't have that throwback feel to it that I was going for. So I had another yellow along my wall and I pulled that. And 
your eyes are going to have to adjust. I'm sure this is going to look brighter on screen than it is, and especially after seeing this yellow. But I think this color is more what I'm going for. It's hopefully not reading too bright in the picture. It's not super highlightery, but it's definitely not the warm golden shade that I tend to use. But I think it's kind of what I want for my sashing. I'm trying to use what I have in my stash as opposed to going out and purchasing something. And I think this could be really pretty just as the sashing. Some of you are probably shaking your head saying, no, Corey, it's too bright. That's not what you want to do. But I think that could be really pretty. Just a little bit of sashing. And then I do still want to do cornerstones. I, I like a cornerstone with sashing. It makes blocks so much easier to line up. Sometimes if you're just doing long strips of sashing, if you're not really careful, you can end up with blocks that don't line up nicely beside each other. You might get just a, a, a bit off. Um, but with cornerstones, it makes things stay nice and tidy. So I, I am planning to use cornerstones and I'm thinking about using just a white cornerstone in between. I did try some other colors and I wasn't exactly vibing with some of the other colors. So this is what I'm thinking for right now. So you can let me know what you think in the comments. I'm curious what you think. I know some of you are going to think this is just way too bright, but I promise it's not as bright as it looks on screen, at least from what I'm seeing here in front of me, I have a monitor in front of me and that looks pretty highlighter, but I don't, I don't think it's quite as highlighter in person. So rest assured, your eyes might be a little bit wrong <laughs> or, or it could be right and it could be looking great on screen. I'm not, I'm not sure what you're seeing. Anyhow, let me know what you think. I think that could be really fun. The more I look at that, the more I think that is gonna make a happy quilt, probably two inch sashing or so two inch cornerstones. I think that would be fun. All right. So that is my current plan for the Dresdens. If you hate that idea, you have a little bit longer till I start sewing them together to speak your piece. And then I'm going to sew these together. We'll see. We'll see how that turns out. But I think that's going to be fun. So now let me show you the quilt top that I went looking for that reminded me of these fabrics. So a lot of these, this is just a scrappy mix of fabrics that I had on hand for all of these Dresdens. And so let me show you this next one. Now this quilt top I'm showing you does have a quilt pattern. I don't know the name of it offhand. It is in one of um, Pam and Nikki Lintot's jelly roll books. So I'm going to look up which one it's in and then link to that. But it's this pretty tulip quilt. And I think it's so pretty. It's a great springtime quilt. And you know, I love this palette, these kind of warm sherbet colors. Let me get this, yep, right side up. So it's this guy right here. And this is the one I set off to find. And I found it, plus several more. But this is a jelly roll quilt. It's a fun one. It's pretty big. I don't know what the measurement is on it offhand, but it is high time that this one becomes a quilted product that can be used rather than just sitting in my linen closet. Uh, tell me you guys do that too, that you've got the quilt tops. Hopefully you're better organized than I am and you know what quilt tops you have where. <laughs> I thought I had most of my quilt tops all in one spot, so I was kind of surprised when I found these guys tucked up there too. So I will get this one quilted up. I bet I've had this for Oh, if I had to guess, I'd say at least 10 years, maybe longer. I don't know exactly, but high time it gets quilted. So I will send that one off. I also found this little cute one. Now this is one that I used to have a pattern for. It was for a project that I did with RJR Fabrics. And this was my little test quilt top when I was writing up the pattern. So this pattern is no longer in print, but it would be one that I could fairly easily bring back to life if you guys wanted this little sewing machine mini as a quilt pattern. Um, one thing I will say, as I share this with you is I really like this print. This is a fig tree fabrics print right here. Probably one of my favorite lines or favorite fabrics that Joanna ever made. I love this palette. I think that's the prettiest little print, but it does not have enough contrast in the center of this project. So if I were to remake this, I would definitely want to 
do my little sewing machine in a much darker color so that it showed up nicely. Um, but then it's just the little buttons, some borders, little spools, and then a border around the edge. This is a little fussy cut border, which I thought turned out really cute. So this was a little guy that I found. I don't even know if I would send this one out. I could pretty easily quilt this one up on my sewing machine on my own. It just hasn't gotten done. And then I thought, ah, I'll just show this little guy to you. It's a fun little one. So that is one I found. And then these next ones that I'm going to show you, I do plan to send these out. And it was kind of fun to see them again. They're like old friends. When you find those quilt tops you sort of forgot about. Old friends tucked away in my linen closet. This one, I don't even know why I made this quilt. I really like it. It's made from Bonnie Christine fabrics, if I am remembering correctly. And this tan fabric, is a moda linen, mochi linen, which I really like. I think it's really pretty with these fabrics too. It's a really simple quilt. I don't think I had a pattern. I don't think I ever wrote a pattern for it. Um, but it's just, just this, just rectangles. Pretty easy to piece. And it just kind of lets the prints shine. The pieces are big enough that you can see a lot of the fabrics in each of those rectangles. And it's just kind of a fun one. So that's an easy peasy quilt. And that one is gonna get sent off to my quilter. And I think that will be really pretty to have finished. A lot of these, when I am donating them, I'm going to be using Minky on the back. I like using something this size. I'll use a 90 inch wide Minky. And then for some of the smaller ones, I can use a 60 inch wide. Moda has a really nice 60 inch wide that I buy by the bolt so that I can use for backings. And then I often use a Shannon Minky for the the 90 inch. It's really nice if you can buy the wider widths in those cuddle, snuggle, minky type fabrics so you don't have to piece them. So no pattern for that one. Then this next one I'm going to show you, I there is a pattern for. This quilt is a free pattern that Fat Quarter Shop has available. I double checked right before filming this video to make sure that this was still available. It's called Welded, Welded, W-E-L-D-E-D, -E -D, Welded. And this is what it looks like. These are also art gallery fabrics, but I sure don't remember if they were from one line or if I just decided on a mix of fabrics, but it's this pretty squares kind of frames. And I think this will be a great one to get quilted up also. I had completely forgotten I had made this quilt. This one I remembered. Actually, all of the ones I've showed you so far I remembered. This one, I completely forgot that I ever made this one. <laughs> but I like it. I think it's pretty. This is another good one for showing off the large, large scale prints. Like you can see this orange fabric here is a pretty big print, but it shows up pretty nicely. So I'll be happy to get this one sent away. If you had to guess how many quilt tops you have waiting right now to be quilted, how many would you say that you have? I would be hard pressed to list how many I have. I don't know. I know. I thought so. We are downstairs in the filming studio and this is um, right off. I have a whole bunch of quilts right behind you where you can't see. And I thought that I had most of my quilt tops down here. This is where I store a lot of my finished quilts. And I just didn't realize I had so many quilt tops upstairs, all the way upstairs in that closet. This last quilt top I'm showing is another one I don't have a pattern for anymore. It was one that I wrote years ago for a project and the pattern is no longer available. But it's a fun one. And again, like I said, if enough of you are interested in any of these patterns, I might be able to make that happen. You'll have to let me know. This fabric line is a Kate and Birdie fabric line for Moda. I always love these wintry fabric lines. I'm going to show you this one a little closer too because this pattern lent itself really well to fussy cutting some of these pretty 
fabrics that are in this line, like this one right here with these cardinals in it. I think that's so pretty. There's some more little fussy cut centers there. I guess that that one's probably not fussy cut. But this one down here would be that one right there. So this was a fun, a fun quilt top. So we will get this one quilted up too. And that'll be fun. All right, so that is my plan. Get these quilt tops out. I will have to purchase some of these minkies because I know I don't have any of the 90 inch wide on hand. So I will need to make some backing purchases and then get these sent out. I would like to get those Dresden sewn together so that I can get that one sent out. It feels really good to get these projects checked off, especially when I know they're being donated. I know what I want to do with them and I can just get them finished and on the way. So that's my news for today. I hope you have enjoyed this little peek into some of these older quilt tops. A lot of these, probably all of them that I showed you, probably at least 10 years old, maybe, maybe older. I think I made all of them before I was designing fabric for Moda. So that would have been prior to 2014, which puts us at at least 10 years ago. And I don't know how much older than that. So it is time. It's time to get them moved out of here, moved on to someone that can use them once they are quilts. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know and I will catch you again next time.